This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. I uh, want to congratulate Missouri for the win and for uh, getting bowl eligible. They played a very physical game. Uh, they out physical this tonight uh, on both sides of the ball. And, uh, and you know, it's unfortunate. We had several chances to win the game and we couldn't convert and, and uh, on offense and couldn't stop them on defense. Uh, but they had the more physical team tonight. And to me, uh, that and the way Cook played is the reason uh, the reason uh, they won the game. Uh, the uh, the drive that you had early in the fourth quarter, you got down to the two. Mm -hmm. Just maybe, can you step us through what happened right there, why you couldn't push it in, and then the decision to kick it field goal? Well, I mean, we had three plays. One of them was we had we threw a couple of passes, if I if I remember correctly, and. Uh, uh, run option, run, run option passes. Uh, try to sneak, and uh, it was still fourth and two. It was first and goal from the two. And we end up fourth and two. There's about eight minutes left in the and in, in the game. I felt like we could cut it down to a field goal. And we had three timeouts left. Um, obviously, there was another opportunity there. I chose to take the points and cut it within two because we hadn't made a yard in the three previous plays. Nobody had gotten after you uh, with seven sacks. Yeah. They, they did. What, what do you think kind of led to They that? whipped our butt. That's what happened. They whipped us. Uh, they physically dominated us. And they did in the run game, and they did in the protection game. And, um, I, you know, I don't know how else to say it. We, we got dominated physically is what happened. No, they've had times when they, you know, I mean, I don't know about the seven sacks, but they've had times when they've got after the quarterback and things of that nature, but uh, off the edge and then up the middle, they were pushing the pocket. There wasn't a place for KJ to go, you know, and uh, we were getting beat around the edge and then we were so deep uh, that he couldn't step up and, uh, Again, they were playing inspired. They they had to get to a bowl game, and and uh, I felt we were we we were matching. It was a, it was a great game, you know. It's just um, we didn't tackle well, we didn't cover well, uh, we didn't protect well, and we didn't run block well. And and those are all physical things, and and uh, we just couldn't make enough plays to win it at the end. Yeah, Al Davis, obviously, you know, Al, who was there. Defensive line coach. Yeah. He's he done a great job, and I think they've improved ever since. You know, those are questions for Eli, too, but I think he's improved ever since. Um, I think he took over maybe last year at some point in the season, and you can see an improvement with their uh, defensive line ever since he's uh, been coaching them. He's done an outstanding job. One of those plays from the two was the train off slide or something. Yeah. Was that a look y'all got? Or... Uh, it wasn't there. I mean, there was a pair of G's in there or a pair of shades, however you want to look at it. Um, uh, it that one there, we sh should have went to something else there. It, it just wasn't there. There was a surprise thing that we felt like we could sneak it in, but uh, it just wasn't there. Seems like not being able to get in the end zone inside the five has been a recurring issue this year. How disappointing is that, especially with, you know, the reputation you feel like y'all have? Yeah, very disappointing. You know, it's just like, and I don't know if we'd have scored there if we'd won the game or not, but I, I do know that we would have been ahead. You know, uh, I'm talking about a touchdown. And, I mean, yeah, it's disappointing. I mean, you think you're – your next decision is, are you going to go for two or not? You know what I mean? And, and, uh, uh, which we were, but I mean, yes, very disappointed. They played good defense down there and certainly, uh, another physicality type deal and things. And we just, we got whipped. Sam, did you expect Cook to run it like he did? Well, over the last two and a half games, he has. I mean, that's what he has. And and Eli, it seemed to me like Coach Drink had had that in his game plan that he was going to feature him because uh, over the last two and a half games, he's been their best runner. 
and uh, certainly came in here and we had him hemmed and then he'd bounce outside. I mean, we, we lost contain and uh, we could never get him turned back inside. And then they had some design inside runs like the one he scored the touchdown on. Uh, but, um, you know, they only punted the one time in the first half and that was right before that half, you know, we just uh, was either, we couldn't tackle them or we couldn't cover them. You had said leading up to this game that Missouri really makes you throw the ball, and Rocket only had ten carries. Is that just because of what the defense is doing? No, I just I I think that we were getting smashed in the run game, and we were trying to find a way. And sometimes those are run pass options. You know, it might be called a run, but end up passing it. But we were we were physically getting handled in the run game, and. And uh, we felt like we needed to throw it a little bit. And there were spurts in there where, you know, we hit Matt and some things that, that the run-pass combination was working. Uh, and I thought we played a pretty good first half. And not, no, we scored points in the first half to, to, you know, come back to make it 21-20. And we just never were really consistent offensively at all today. Seeing as Slusher gets back from Ike last week, has they pack his place pretty well, and then he's not here. Kind of what, what happened there? When he came in, we visited on Sunday, and then uh, Sunday evening he he quit the team. Did that surprise you? Or did he, yeah. yeah. I guess how disappointed is that guy? Is, you know. I, I'm not. That's it. I don't want to talk about that anymore. After they missed the field goal, uh, was there any thought to to go for it on fourth down? Or was it an easy decision to punt it away? Or oh, that was a hard one too. They they're all hard, you know. I mean, that was a hard one too. But again, it was fourth and eight. I mean, basically you decide, okay, this is a game. And again, you just had three plays, you got two yards. I mean, you, I mean, and so the, the only question right there is, do you think you can stop them in three downs and you have three timeouts and you can get, listen, it's a field goal game. So it's not, let's pin them down, which we punted down there pretty good. And then they got the first down and then, we stopped them the second time around, and then that we only had twenty seconds or whatever at the end of end of that. But yes, those. But I, I just kept feeling like if we could stop them in three downs, we'd get the ball with a minute and a half or so back, and maybe all we needed was a field goal and maybe have an opportunity there. I guess what you're saying is, do you think we can call three timeouts, get the ball back, and have a better opportunity to win the game than going for it on fourth and eight? and then continue on the drive. And at that point, I felt like the best thing for us to do is try to pin them down there, have them run the ball three times, get the ball back, see if we can't kick a field goal. So you guys, you know, you play some great teams, but this was the most sacks you've given up. Was it just a rough day for the old line? Was Missouri just that good? I, th I think as a combination, I think Missouri's good. Um, to me, that's the difference in what they've done this year. You know, they, they were ahead of Georgia out here. I mean, you know, they, They've got a better team. I know their record's only six and six like ours, but they, they've got a better team this year. Um, but the sacks, um, uh, they came from uh, obviously edge. Uh, we couldn't handle the edge. And when we did handle the edge, we got way too much pressure push in the middle and there was no place for KJ. He couldn't escape. There wasn't any room, it wasn't any areas for him to escape. You only know, went three and out on the opening drive. Yeah. You scored on one open drive this season. Well, why do you think that is? Man, I don't know. I, I wish I did, you know. Um, uh, I wish I did know, cause they, they went down and kicked a field goal, you know, on their first drive. And uh, it took us another one to get going. And we did score on our second drive. Um, but, uh, you know, we've tried all kinds of different things and just uh, it's hard to score on your first drive. I get that. But one for the whole year is not not very good. And we've got to get it fixed somehow. As your fourth loss by three or fewer points, it seems like, you know, last year you won a couple of those. This year yeah. you go against you. Yeah, I hate it. You know, I mean, guys, nobody likes to come in here and talk to y'all after you get beat. Nobody. I mean, and so we're trying to – we try. I mean – those close ones, they hurt. They actually hurt the worst, you know, because you're sitting there and you're thinking, well, maybe we could have done this, maybe we could have done that. And one play, you know, to change the outcome of the game. Um, I think Missouri's been in that 
same kind of boat this year, to be perfectly honest with you. You know, the one their their game at Auburn, their game at Georgia, you know, here at Georgia. And, and uh, usually in a the season, they kind of even out. In this the season, it hasn't. You know, we've lost every one of them that were a field goal or less, you know. And and uh, I don't know. I, but I will say this. I'm not disappointed the effort that our guys gave or anything like that. I just – we just physically got whipped tonight. Sam, is there a particular bowl that you would like to see your team play in? Um, no, not really. I – I um, you know, we're really fortunate to get bowl eligible and, and uh, you know, the, the, the Las Vegas one is earlier, um, which uh, there's some recruiting things in that one that you would lose some time there. Um, but other than that, I think the kids would love to go out there, you know, and have that time and all that, but you know, we got the Liberty Bowl that's right up the road that we're very, you know, that we respect the people of the Liberty Bowl and all that. So any of those bowls would be wonderful. You got Texas and you got Music City, you know. Any of those would be wonderful, but they're only good when when you win, you know. So we've got to get ready to do that. Are you worried about bumper surgery? Went well. It went well. He, he had surgery on Wednesday, and uh, I think it's, it went well. And well, I know it did. I, he told me it went well. He was still a little loopy, you know, when I talked to him, but it went well. And bless his heart, I mean, he he went about as far as he could go for the Hogs and for the state. What's the schedule like for that? I know you said the other day Monday's going to be, you know, crazy. Yeah, it's Monday, crazy. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we have exit meetings with the kids, and uh, um, you know, they'll they'll be. Without a doubt, there'll be some portal action and all that kind of stuff that us and everybody else in the country, and then you just have to figure it out. You know, uh, um, it's there for a reason, and and uh, you just have to figure out, uh, obviously, who wants to stay with the program and who wants to transfer out, and they have their own reasons and things of that nature. And uh, we'll visit with them and try to keep the ones that we – that we need to keep, you know, and things of that nature. So transfers, transfers happen everywhere. But you know, having Thompson and, and uh, Miles the last couple weeks, is there any more concern that there may be some significant contributors that you're going to have to try to hold on to? Or? Oh, I'm sure there is. I mean, I, I, heck, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot goes on in the transfer pool, guys. It's more than just playing time or not playing time. There's a lot goes on with it. You know, if somebody gets a hold of them, and a lot goes on about the transfer portal. I mean, Bumper with his hip, is he going to still be able to get a chance at the NFL, you think, or the combine? Or what's I think if he comes back healthy and he feels good, I think he'll give it a shot. Uh, I think if there's anything coming from his surgery that he doesn't feel great about, I think he'll, I think he wants to be a coach. Hey, 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 three catches in every game for you. It's more in sums. What, what do you think about his season? Well, he's tough. I wish we could have held on. I wish we could have held up a little bit more in, in tonight so we could get some more balls to him. Uh, Haywood's a tough man, um, both mentally and physically. And he's way, he's much older than what his age uh to be perfectly honest with you, the way he acts, the way he carries himself, and and uh, he was a great addition, and we're certainly going to try to get him to come back if 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 uh, we'll talk to him about his draft status, his draft grade, and see if we can't get him to come back. He's played with that ACL here. Early yeah, last yeah. There was it's been beat up for a while. Now it's gotten a little bit better. You know, there for a while you saw he was in green quite a little bit, a little bit, um, but. Um, it healed up last a lot, a lot better last four or five weeks. You fought back in the second quarter. Uh, I was proud of that. Maybe the fight back, and then the touchdown that Landers had, the defender had his arm right there. Yeah, I was, I was proud of that. I was proud. You know, we, we really, honestly, guys, we didn't play very good at all in the first half either, and the, we just made enough plays to be up. You know, we were down ten, and the offense made made enough plays, but if there was no consistency in it, you know. Um, 
but we were up 21 20 i was really proud of that and and uh uh, Matt made a heck of a catch there in the end zone uh, for that touchdown. He's really improved or really come on the last half of the year, last five games of the year, whatever it may be. Um, but we just we never had enough consistency because, uh, in all honesty, f physicality, they were more physical than we were. And it's hard when that happens to have a lot of consistency. Football is back, and Bet Online remains your number one source for all your football betting needs this season. You'll find the latest odds, matchup info, player news, and game trends. And as your continued source for all sports wagering info, Bet Online features live betting, free contests, live scores, and giveaways all season long. Always the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports and events like MLB, MMA, tennis, boxing, and even golf. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive your 100% well Welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B L E A V. Bet online where the game starts.